In the early 1900s, the streets at dawn were the domains of various hawkers and street sellers. As a child, you would wait to hear the sounds of horses' hooves and cartwheels on the woodblock streets, and the hawkers' cries as they called out advertising their wares. Milko! Rabbit o Rabbit for sale! Rabbit o Milko! An ice man would stop by in his horse and cart to deliver a block of ice for the ice chest. If you were quick enough, you could dart out and nick a piece of ice from the cart to crunch on. In summer, he would come every day as the ice would have melted by the end of the day. At that time, there was no refrigeration. The only refrigeration was an ice chest. The ice came first thing in the morning. It was delivered in blocks. The ice man used to wrap the block in a hessian bag and tuck it under his arm and run in and put it in the ice chest. The milk was delivered daily around the streets. The milkman would go around the streets calling Milko. Being the son of the local grocer, Jim Youngin would accompany the baker in his horse and cart as he delivered the bread. He would have seen other tradespeople in these morning rounds, like vegetable sellers, milk delivery men, Chinese hawkers selling feather dusters, and hawkers selling fish and rabbits. Rabbit-o! Rabbit for sale! Rabbit-o! The milkman and baker came around every day in a horse-driven cart. Dealers came around selling fruit and veggies. Rabbitos would drive up the street singing out, Rabbit-o! Rabbits for sale. They would catch the rabbits in the bush, skin them and sell them for six shillings each. 